Alrighty then, well, it's time for more hellish encounters. This one. Yes, we're still playing on this account, which is suffering some weirdy low stuff. Let's do. Yeah. Except, well, no spoilers here. I really wish you guys could see all chat because holy shit. Either way, I'm playing Jungle Shen because I, I thought to myself, well, I'm playing in like really weird elos. Maybe I can get away with playing whatever the hell I want. Either way, Warwick invades me because everyone knows Shen is slow, but which is why I went from buff to buff rather than going buff to small camp because I knew I'd probably be invaded. My top laner died for first blood and then takes half his health and damage because he decides to fight next to minions, but, you know, whatever. Also, you know, I took Conquerors as Shen because, I don't know, uh, nothing else kind of works for him as a jungler, really. And also, yes, you can see there my Anivia is like, I don't know what the hell happened, but yeah. Either way, I help her push the lane and then she pings all angry at me and even says something and then decides to stick around with no mana because I'll just start my farm, but whatever. I was just, you know, trying to push so you can go home. But yeah, I know. Is, if it sounds a little bit mean-spirited, you'll see why. Anyway, she teleports in front of Katarina, and Katarina doesn't really punish it, because hooray. Alright, so, here's what's going to go down in this game. There's a that's, there's a lag spike that happens in every single one. Just sort of watch the CS in the game, and then just, just kind of watch how, well, people fight, like a Navy right there. I want to also tell you right now, that there was a bit of raging going on in the chat because Jen, you're so useless, you didn't help. But yeah, I know. Mean spirited, remember? Anyways, go to Red Buff. Take it. I'm trying to rush level six as quickly as possible because right now my teammates are either like bottom lane dominating and pushing way too much, so I can't really gank it. Mid lane dying and not really doing very much, so I can't gank it. Or top lane losing all their health and having to go back, so I can't really gank it. Yeah, it seems right now my only option was to reach level 6 as quickly as possible so I could teleport on top of somebody in case something happens. Right now, Renekton fights the Dr. Mundo and it comes very close to one of them dying. You know, that was pretty, pretty ballsy. Katarina, I felt, was going to try to... You know, tower dive him, so I made my way up there just to catch her in case she tried, which was a pretty good call. You know, you saw her go top lane. Right now, my Nivea teammate, uh, let's just say she's raging at us, telling us we're not doing anything. But at the same time, you know, all the pings are going out for Renekton from me, because we knew Katarina was going to go top there. I teleport on top of them, trying to do some, hopefully, you know, hopefully for the best. Well, now that I have Tiamat, I can do quite a bit of damage, and thankfully the burn kills her, because I promptly get murdered by the Dr. Mundo, and, you know, the Anivia never tried to do anything, or even push, kind of. She's just, just there. Now she pushes, which it doesn't matter at this point, because she was just, you know, whatever. I won't say anything. Uh, either way, with Tiamat activated on Jungle Shen, my speed basically jumps tenfold. Because as, same as always, Shen's always been a really slow jungler. But once you get him going, you have this whole quote-unquote infinite jungle where you can just keep jungling. And, you know, when you have your ultimate, just pour it into something. And again, my ultimate is going to be way too important in this game because the lanes are very wonky and unpredictable. Dr. Mundo... Besides to sort of proxy, so I destroy this explosive plant in order to prevent him from trying to escape. Dash at him, do quite a bit of damage, but he's a really fat motherfucker, so he's not gonna die anytime soon. Thankfully, you know, I'm burning my flash, I managed to bring him down. Katarina comes in just to cross me in melee and basically gets obliterated. Then Warwick thinks he would be able to take me on, which if we fought in a 1v1, he would, he would probably come out on top, but I probably just kind of walk away. He ends up egging the Anivia, I catch him, you know, red red buff, Tiamat, all that good stuff, you bring him down. So, hooray, that's a pretty huge swing for me. I'm trying to rush uh, Titanic Hydra as quickly as possible to give myself some damage. Because in this game, we're going to need me to be a sort of fighter slash tank bruiser kind of guy. I don't know, Jungle Shen or Shen in general just has this weird, this very strange identification as a champion, which is kind of a huge balance issue for him. I tried teleporting to a homie down bottom lane, Dilution, but it seems he had DC'd. So hooray for us, right? We have a DC player, which of course the enemy team takes full advantage of. And while I'm fighting top lane, which, you know, I could have just stopped this and tried going down bottom, but at this point I was too committed to this. They take all the towers up until the inhibitor, so, yeah. 
So they're taking an inhibitor. There's a lot of raging going in chat right now. Oh my god, you, you guys didn't bother defending. You know, you guys lost a two v one at top lane, but you know we did what we had to because we weren't going to be let go home, and we killed Warwick for that. But now we essentially have an inhibitor open down bottom lane. Yay! Once again, though, all my best bet is just to farm up as much as possible, try to get some good items in there, and show up for actual team fights. Thankfully, the, the Lucian is not going to DC anymore, but that DC costs a ton. Surprise, surprise, too, uh, playing in these lower division games, there's a lot of DCs and a lot of AFKs because a lot of people are just super angry for whatever reason, and you might see one of those. Either way, thanks for my W, I just don't really take any real damage from most of their stuff, but right now the defense is basically non-existent because angry people. I'm monopolizing blue, mostly for the cooldown reduction, trying to keep my ultimate low if I use it while I have my blue buff. At least that's my, you know, my hopes and dreams right there. The enemy team goes in on my teammates and the wall walls them off, which I don't give credit for. It was a good wall. Then I teleport on top of uh, Anivia, and thankfully Renekton is there to help deal some damage to this fat bastard who basically takes nothing. And I believe he doesn't even drop until, you know, uh, at all. We end up cha changing our targets to Warwick and we bring him down after Anivia misses her Q, which could have possibly ended up with Dr. Mundo actually dying, but whatever. So yeah, 10 to 11, it's kind of different from the last game, but it's still pretty damn depressing. Yes, Anivia died to a Katarina she saw coming, and she thought she could take, even though Janna was next to her. Because whatever, you know, don't don't be under the protection of the tower, even though your opponent is a 6-4 and 2 Katarina. Well, 5-4 and 2 Katarina at the time of her death, who is way stronger than you. At this point, the game lasts long enough for the Anivia to cover her lack of CS, but whatever. And again, she died basically doing the same damn thing, being where she shouldn't be. Anyways, that fight, this little fight or attempt at a fight here didn't go so so well, so I got killed. Thankfully, it only went to the Janna. Now, in this really lackluster defense, Thresh gets killed. They flash and grab the Renekton, which prompts his death, and then Lucian is forced to flash to escape. Though he does get a kill off the Katarina, which gives him shutdown gold, which is pretty significant because he needs to get as big as possible. He's our, you know, prime defense. <sighs> but yeah, solo queue in lower divisions. The enemy team right here, you know, again, it's kind of showing their weakness. They're rather disorganized going in and out. We're trying to catch somebody, but, you know, they've got all their slows. I go in, just end up taking this red buff. And then, again, look at my build. I'm trying to go as SC. I'm going to try to go CC heavy or some something to slow the enemy team down. Because, well, aside from their initial gap closers with Warwick, they don't really have that much mobility. So, and a Katarina, too. So my best bet is to try to trap them with something. Either way, my dash, my flash dash failed there, and it's embarrassing. And then my ultimate stopped because they destroyed the hell out of the Thresh. And then my teammates go in regardless of the fact that we're not all really there, and and I arrive a little bit too late. I do quite a bit before I finally get dis absolutely obliterated. Yay. And we're forced, once again, into a defensive position. But just watch out. Well, I guess bad this part is here. The Jinx just decides to completely eat the Q and the E by the uh, Nivea and gets destroyed. And the Warwick just uh, decides to, you know, fight through Winter and gets destroyed. And the Janna just kind of dies as the, the after effect of kind of being there for her homies. And honestly, that kind of brings us back into the game. Because it allows us to reestablish our hold. allows us to be able to push out and breathe a little. Because we were being suffocated for a little while. Yeah. Anyways, they try pushing for the inhibitor again, but at this point, they're very disorganized. Katarina survives with the stasis, we're uh, pushed apart. Well, thanks again, right now my W just saves me so much damage. And it allows the enemy, for, for the lack of a better part, having the terrible, absolutely terrible focus, to get completely melted down. So, once again, we're bringing Sexy back. 20 to 19 now. So, it's not as drastic as it was in the beginning. But, again, I wish you guys could see chat, because holy crap, this is a really funny game. Yeah, nobody was happy this game. And those who watched on stream knew uh, know what I'm talking about. Either way, once again, still, though, on the defensive, which I believe they were going for Baron at this point, but there was no real defense we could uh, mount here. You know, either way, you know, just carefully reading the enemy team, I go in and smite steal it. Hooray! You know, it, we, I'm not going to die for this. I use my ultimate, go in, and I take a bunch of damage. I used it on the Thresh because it's the first person I could see when I was scanning for an, a potential escape. But I still died for it. Thankfully, the rest of the enemy team is way too weak and get destroyed by the Renekton going in and full on blast and the Lucian, you know, gunning people down. So, 
Triple kill for the Lucian. That's a big, big swing. And of course, the Baron Steel too. But honestly, it will had more to do with the Warwick missing a smite. Because if you replay that, I think he missed it by 170 health or so. So I got very lucky. At the most, I was trying to go in there to get put in myself in a position to be able to kill somebody while well, I'm with my teammates, even though our offense against it wasn't that good. So we kind of lucked out there. Or lucked out, or the enemy team really fucked up. It's both. Or it's probably both. Either way, again, I told you my build was Random One's Omen. Even though it's honestly not the best item against their composition, I figured the slow would be pretty good. Alternatively, I could have gone Righteous Glory, but, you know, it's kind of a weird item to build on uh, on uh, Shen. Anyways, we catch Katarina, don't actually do anything to her, and it's a really awkward situation here. We, we don't actually make best use of our Baron because we're just kind of scattering about. And then, you know, everyone's kind of wandering, and the Katarina gets herself killed because hooray for her. So, good, good enough, I guess, right? At this point, with the amount of levels I have, and I, I, it's pretty good that I could start split pushing and then teleporting in. There's one huge weakness of my build right now, and I'm sure some of you have noticed. I have no cooldown reduction, or very low. And it's actually ridiculously bad for me to have that. Either way, Mundo gets caught, but who the fuck cares? It's Dr. Mundo. He's going to walk out of it with his W and turn around and do quite a bit of damage. And then, well, in the meantime, the enemy team is pushing down mid. They get the inhibitors because our defense was absolutely terrible. And I end up being able to join the fray, but at this point, it's a little bit too late because they ended up taking quite a bit. Dr. Mundo is kind of just keeping Thresh down and eventually he's going to kill him. However... The enemy team just having this really weird answering for this allows us to start, you know, getting a pretty good fight in. Warwick ults into a Nivea who's a little bit too tanky at this point for him, and we're able to take him down. So we get two kills for basically nothing. Yay. Though Thresh, you know, got, he got killed on his own on a court somewhere else. Then you saw Johnny K cut him down by Lucian there too. So yeah, at this point... You know, comp-wise, my team is just kind of better because theirs doesn't really have a lot going for them. Here also, just the amount of damage I get to do the, on the Jinx by myself, I actually performed that badly because I didn't reset my Hydra, Titanic Hydra properly. But thankfully, I did a ton of damage forcing the Jinx away. And the Mundo getting, you know, wanting to finish me off, put himself in a position to get walled in and killed. And here, the Warwick comes in using the Sphere, and then he backs off entirely, and then, you know, goes back in and, or in and out, sort of like a dog trying to get through a door, you know, not understanding if he wants to be outside or inside. And, of course, it leads to his death, and then Katarina's death, and then Baron's death, and then, and then basically, yeah, we, the enemy team kind of just threw everything. I, you see me here teleporting back to just take, uh, taking care of uh, these minions, and hopefully at this point mount some kind of offensive to finish off the game, because holy crap, was this stressful, and I didn't want to hear any more whining from a certain player in this game. Yeah. But yeah, my build was not the best. It was kind of very forced, because I felt Randuin's Omen was needed to try to at least protect my important teammates, and, you know, give them some semblance of survival. But, whatever. Either way... Katarina once again put herself in a bad position and got killed for it and that allows us to kind of just free or allows my teammates to free push I'm pushing top lane or you know holding on to my ultimate Dr. Mundo comes top to stop my push by you know You know just ignoring me and pushing the mini other minis on the other side I go home just so I can heal myself because I obviously are gonna was gonna take way more damage from the minions and also to stop the little bit of push that was there and once again Jana gets caught and I'm gonna teleport on top of the uh uh, on top of one of my teammates, but at that point it doesn't really matter because eh, Shen just kind of destroyed everybody. So, I mean not Shen, Lucian destroyed everybody. He gets a Quadra, but gets denied the Penta by our Thresh. Hooray! I bet he was happy about that. But either way, this game was hellish. There was a lot of anger, a lot of rage, a lot of emotion in the very beginning of the game. But we brought Sexy back, and it was a pretty good Shen game. Yay for low elo silver. And if you like this video, remember to give it a like. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure to hit the little bell up there somewhere so you actually get notifications to my videos because YouTube and stuff.